And good morning, um, this is Darren from Oakwood Homes in Margate and today I am here at 101 North Down Park Road um, to do this um, live stream viewing. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to um, just pop them in the box. If you are watching this live, um, just um, type them in and I will read them out and do my best to answer those questions for you. If I'm unable to answer them now, then I will obviously come back to you after um, the live stream later on with the information that you required. But just to sort of give you a little bit of an overview, we're on North Down Park Road. At um, one end of the road, we have got North Down Park and at the other end, we've got Dane Park. So um, lots of sort of outdoor um, amenities sort of close by. Uh, there's shops just down on North Down Road. There's a Tesco Extra, um, sorry, Tesco, yeah, Tesco and Extra down there um, and other shops, cafes and a few bars now. Um, and, um, you know, bits and pieces to uh, browse some galleries and stuff like that. It's becoming very fashionable North Down Road. Um, so as you can see, there's a parking space here. You've got potential for further parking should you need it. And you've got the lovely original um, tiled floor, uh, sorry, tiled um, path to the front door here, which is double glazed, um, but still has the nice um, stained glass um, feature to it. Um, if you look up there, we've got obviously the coving um, all the way through. So I'm just going to take you into the property itself. It is actually bigger than you think it's going to be. You can probably see all the uh, the length of the uh, the entrance hall here. Um, again, you've got the coving through here. And you've got the nice ornamental pieces there on the edge and the stairs up there. It's quite a flexible house um, in, in respect of uh, the usage of the rooms. Um, it is actually a five bedroom semi-detached property. It's been much loved family home. Um, this is marked on as the dining room and used as a dining room here at the front. Um, but again, depending on your needs, um, this could obviously be um, a living room as well. Um, it's a nice fireplace, it's double glazed bay window. Here's the front, but lovely high ceilings all the way through. Now, this room is actually 16, eight by 14 into the bay. But you can see the beautifully live high ceilings. Apologies, I'm struggling my words this morning. So that's the dining room. So we're gonna carry on up there. There is a small cellar in the property. Um, it leads to the front. I'm just going to sort of turn around. This is the door to the cellar. I know there's no signal down there because I did try it just before joining. Um, so I don't want to go down there, but it is literally just a sort of a straight cellar towards the front door there. So um, just that sort of width. So just to give you an idea of what's down there. Okay. So I'm going to take you into the kitchen. And this is where I meant about the flexibility because obviously this room here for a nice table in there, space for range cooker, and still loads of kitchen units and storage. Again, you've got the high ceilings here, and you've got the door to the garden here with this large return here, which is really, really handy, and there is a side access, but we'll go out there um, in a little bit, um, just to give you um, a feel for it. Um, the kitchen is 1210 by 12.5. Yep, sorry you lost me there for a second. So I'm gonna carry on. Um, we had done with the kitchen to be fair. So um, I'm gonna take you through to what's used as the, uh, the living room. And this is really is a beautiful room, um, really lovely and bright. With a huge bay there which lets in load of light which is subtly facing as well just so you know still got the high ceilings and the coving and then there's a lovely fireplace with a log burner in literally you can leave the door open and it pretty much heats the whole house there is gas central heating not that you need it but it's a lovely feature nevertheless And we will take you out into the garden in just a moment. Uh, but 
so you can see the pitch rail. But yeah, lovely fireplace with the log burner. So that's the living room. We're going to take you to the uh, downstairs facilities here. So we've got quite a large shower room here. This is space if you wanted to, to put like utility facilities in here as well, because it's got a nice large double walk-in shower. Obviously the sink and the toilet, but there's, you know, plenty of space that you could put a washer and dryer in here as well, covered up, you know. So, you know, it does offer the flexibility of that with the tiled floor. So that's the downstairs accommodation. Again, just to remind you, that's where the cellar is. Um, but as I said, there's no signal down there. So let's take you upstairs and we're gonna work from sort of back to front, really. Um, it's very, very bright up here because of the um, high level window, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. The lounge, by the way, was 19 by 12, 10, and the shower room is 10, three by 9.3. Um, as I said, it's been a much loved family house and it's just really a downsize, to be honest. But there you can see um, that high level window, which obviously floods this area with light and you've got potential to extend into the loft space in the main house as well. So as I said, it's five bedrooms, three doubles, two singles which would also make really good offices as well. So if you're looking at working from home and need that sort of space, then you've got that opportunity here. Someone's just asked um, if this is to rent or to buy, this is to buy. Um, this property is on for offers over 475. So this bedroom is 1210 by 124. Again, you've got this double bay, double glazed bay window at the front, oh, sorry, at the back, which obviously have loads, loads of light in here. But it's a nice size double bedroom. Space for beds, wardrobes, desks, dressing units, everything in here. So next to that is bedroom five or four. Um, one of the single bedrooms. Um, this is, um, well, they're both similar size, the two smaller ones of nine, seven by six, four. Um, this is currently used as an office, but it's a single bedroom, if necessary. But yeah, as I was mentioning earlier, if you are hybrid working, working from home, part-time, etc., this it's got two perfect rooms for that. Um, and still would have three double bedrooms, so um, space for the family and guests. Um, or, you know, these, these give freedom, little snugs, um, gaming rooms, all sorts. So lots of flexibility on there. So you've got some storage here, built-in storage. And then you've got the family bathroom here with a big corner bath. There's a shower over that as well. And this bar from 74 by 610. And then there's a separate toilet as well. So if you did want to extend into the lost space, there's plenty of room for another staircase, obviously subject to the normal consents. Bedroom two here is 13 by 13. And again, this is a good size double.
So I'll take you into bedroom five straight four. As I said, they're both very, very similar sizes. Currently used as a little gym, but again, it would make a perfect little office. With a door out onto the small balcony. And uh, this is nine, eight by six foot. Still got the high ceilings up here as well. And then the main bedroom, which is 16, seven by 12, two into the bay. So it's a lovely sized bedroom, very, again, very light and bright. Got the lovely coving in here as well. Plenty of room. Storage. Seafront is literally, um, well, uh, probably about a quarter of a mile, if that, from the property. Um, very direct walk. Literally um, straight um, beyond those properties and across the main road and then down the other side and you're there. So very, very handy location. Old Town isn't far away as well. It's less than a mile away. Um, and said so the two parks either end of the road. So that's the inside of the property. So we'll just take you out to have a look at the garden. As I mentioned, that's southerly facing. This really is a nice, generous property. Good size rooms, good proportions. So we're gonna go down this side return. As I mentioned, there is a side gate. There, so you have got side access into the garden. Again, further storage outside there. And then it's about 40 feet approximately from the back of the house here into the rear garden. So this is southerly facing. Got a large shed there as well. So sort of patio area in the return. So this is 101 North Down Park Road. It's a five bedroom semi-detached with off-road parking, with potential for further off-road parking, potential to extend into the loft space as well. Um, three doubles two single stroke offices um, two large reception rooms and a kitchen um, breakfast room as well double glazed apart from two windows um, and centrally heated with a lovely log burner in the in the lounge um, said great location handy for everything um, and it's on for offers over 475 so if this is something that you would be interested in having a look at obviously then please just give the office a call um, our number is 01843 double two, double one, double three. Um, if you've got any further questions about the property, and again, just give us a call, we'd be happy to do that. Um, so thanks very much for joining us today. Apologies about the couple of drop-offs um, and um, look forward to speaking to you another time. Thanks very much, have a good day.